What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. I have built a hundred player picks. I've actually only got 50 right now. We'll build the other 50 after the fact. Um, and we're going to see what kind of exchange we get back out of it. You know, we've done this video a few times when there's been some fun things in packs, the Golasso promo, um, the Greats of the Game promo, for example. And the idea is to just calculate how many cards we use to build 100 player picks. In this instance, it's going to be 300 rares and 500 commons. And then just see whether we get that back or whether it's worth it in general. Of course, we have got oh, to start us off with, which is nice. We have got 124 uh, best of cards in, including 88 Marquinhos. And we've also got 42 footies cards in as well, which is very, very nice. So I feel like it should be very, very, very easy to get the return back from what we've put in. But you never know. We'll take an 87 Lucy Bronze there as well, which is great. And I know a lot of people right now that are building these player picks are a little bit fed up with the way EA have done the 81s recently. You know, last not last time, last week, but the week before, the 81 player pick required 11 cards with two rares. And it, and it was just ludicrous for an 81 plus player pick. This time around, it's eight cards with three rares. Oh, 85 there. Um, which is also really ludicrous. I, I hope that they don't ruin the 82 plus player picks coming on Monday. Or may, maybe they give us an 83 plus. Let's take that 88 Larian. Um, so a lot of people are struggling to get rares. And you guys have got a whole bunch of commons you use in the exchange. Obviously, you're getting more commons than you're getting rares, which is... Uh, a bit of a problem here so if you're building player picks and you're thinking how can i get 50 without running out of rares i was using my 82 rated cards not 82 rated cards i was using my excess common cards to build two player upgrade packs as we get fekir there uh, to get two player upgrade packs and out of those two player upgrade packs i was getting rares back and what i was surprised about let's take that ruben dish what i was surprised about the most was how many special cards i was getting out of the two player upgrade packs as well so don't be scared to just grind through those this is actually insane i feel like i i don't know if somebody wants to do the math for me but so far we've got an 89 two eight three eighty eights and 87 or five eighty sevens you can even ignore the eight five six eighty sevens you can even ignore the eighty fives are we already close? We might already be close to getting like our fodder back. And I'm barely even through this first set. We'll take the John Joe Shelby. He can go into a, another SBC. You stopped counting and just opening. Yeah, this is like, okay, we're not getting like the elite cards that we want. And of course, we want to hit those massive footies cards. That's what we're looking for, right? Like That's like the, the kind of like cherry on the top is getting ourselves an absolute elite level card. But if the worst case is we end up putting in an insane, insane amount of fodder back into the club, I'm not going to be displeased with that either. We get another 87. I actually think what I'll probably do is use what I've got here to start crafting a few more SBCs of Kaka because what it seems like we can do now is get enough fodder back to reinvest into the exchange and then get even more excess fodder to invest into the SBCs that's there. And of course, I want that Luka Modric. I want that Kaka. I want them in my team. And whatever EA released today, for example, I want that one as well. Oof, 83's there. So not a bad start for us so far. A whole bunch. A whole bunch of good cards. There's another 87 by way of Frankowski. Come on, EA. Give me a big 90-plus card. Well, there you go. 90 Milito. Another exchange pack or, or SBC set up right there we get 84 castells we still want to see a eh? one of the absolute beast cars we've got 87 forsberg which is really positive that the 87 seems to be coming out very very commonly 87 mead there as well because i think an 87 pack gives you 19 cards doesn't it 19 cards with seven rares so every 87 that you get is effectively value of two player picks which is pretty legit because we've got so many of them We've got an 86 of Renato Sanchez, who's probably these days about 10k discard, but has been extinct at uh, certain stages throughout the game cycle. Not a bad start. Not a bad start. Not a bad first 50. How many more have we got of this 50? Oh, we've got four there. 14. Jesus, we've still got 18 to go from this first 50. 
I thought I was getting close to the end of this first setup. I can't even lie. I think it's because we had so many of these uh, big cards so quickly. But it just feels like I've had, you know, like enough. Which is a bit mad. All right, we'll take Ericsson there. I will use all the duplicates in SBCs. Oh, first icon. It's only an 88 Makalele, but it's another 27 players back, which is quite nice. Another pop, which is really nice. That's another 27 players back. Don't mind that whatsoever. Take Nadozi. Yeah, no footies yet, which is a bit of a shame. I'm sure one will come out of 100 player picks. I'm sure one will come. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Rabio there for us. I think we're getting down to the last few now of this first set of 50 anyway. Of course, uh, I will build another set of 50. I'm going to actually have to go and grind through the exchange to get all the commons back in. There's another Ruben Diaz. I have, we've, I've, I mean, we've got enough 89s anyway to clear off like 200 players, which is fantastic. Got a few more picks here to go for this first batch. We get another Forsberg as well. I actually think, and I will, I will calculate it. I will calculate it. But I actually think with what we've got so far, I've already covered the value of 100 player picks and some. We'll take a Kieran Trippier there, 45 down. 86 Schuler there, not bad. What have we got in these last few here? We've got Ansu Fati. I remember when he was extinct because he fit into an Evo. Um, he's probably about 10k now as well. We've got 87 Endo. And then, take Schlager there. And the last pick for this set is going to be another 86 by way of Ricky there. Not bad. Not bad. All right, guys. 50 more player picks are here from that first set of 50 player picks from the exchange packs that we would have had had I put those fodder bits through the exchange, not including all of the 84s and lower, just the 85s to 89s. We would have had returned 174 rare golds and 378 commons. So obviously, I mean, what a start. Obviously, uh, as we explained, you know, it costs 300 rares and 500 commons to put together the picks. Um, if I put those back through the exchange, some of those exchange packs would have offered um, even more fodder in return to go back into the exchange. And of course, they're so good right now anyway. But it just goes to show that player picks right now are insane value, right? Insane value. If you build 100 not only would you end up with more than you started with, you would end up with enough to build basically any SBC that you wanted. And then you can keep that rinse and repeat cycle going. So ultimately, bottom line is, is yes, even these 81 plus player picks that are quite bad value right now because of the requirement of so many rare golds, you can still get massive profit out of these. And once again, to re reiterate, the best way to get more rare golds will be to put your commons into the two-player upgrade packs. They're very good value. You know, okay, it's 11 cards for two rares, but you have an abundance of commons. Don't have enough rares. It's a good way to trade those commons into rares, and you will definitely start picking up some, uh, some high-rated cards out of the two-player upgrade packs as well. So it's a, an, another, another double win. Another double win. So for us here, I mean, this hasn't been quite as good as the last set so far. We've got 88 Renard, 88 Dudek. We've got 85 uh, Ferlamendi. Is he still like 300 million coins? Like, oh, finally, Mendy is uh, Mendy is affordable for everyone. Um, but yeah, these the picks are good. Obviously, the issue you have is building them as well. Um, there are ways and means to build them a bit faster, but you end up getting soft banned and unable to build them. And like, I hope. And not even hope. Next year, one thing that I'm actually excited for, obviously EA have announced the duplicate storage SBC system uh, where you will be able to put them into like the duplicate storage. And then when you go to an SBC, it will just show you the ones that you've got in the duplicate storage. The reason why that'd be so good is because then when you get loads of dupes, like out, you know, if you open an exchange pack and you get like 17 duplicates and you, you're like, oh my God, like how am I supposed to remember who's who when going back to an SBC? Now you just put them into the duplicate storage, go to the player pick, boom. They're the ones that you pop in. Genuinely going to make the quality of life on this game so much better. Like, so much better. Um, so I'm excited for that, uh, genuinely. I, th I think it's going to make 
Road to Glory is a lot more engaging. Uh, you know, it's going to be easier to kind of like maintain even doing bronze pack method and stuff when you're getting all those dupe bronzes and, and just wait. There's the Karia, nice. Um, just wait until you get like 15 or 20 of them and then go and put them in a couple of bronze upgrade packs instead of just discarding them all. Oh, it's, 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 it's going to make the game a joy to grind in the early stages, having duplicate storage. Something so simple is going to just make the game much more enjoyable, much more enjoyable. Um, which is good for me, eh? I think it's a, it's about time. You know, obviously we had it in FIFA 18 in the World Cup mode. Uh, the reason why I think we had it then, uh, as Josh explained once, and not now though, is because everything was untradeable then. So it was just like a trade pile that you sent something to. Uh, whereas now you've got tradable and untradeable. So I think they've only just figured out, we'll take that Anderson Taliska, how to differentiate between untradeable and tradable in that regard. Let's take that Virgil van Dijk. All right, this is much better. This is much better. Lots more. I think we've got four or five 88s off of this now already. A whole bunch of 85s and 86s, a couple of 87s and an 89 now. Obviously, it'd be great to get a big footies card. Um, but if that's not on the cards, the fodder return here again has been absolutely spectacular. Of course, we've still got a few to go what do we got 10 12 more to go just just hit me hit me ea with like a 99 rated alas you know what i'm saying i'm not asking for much it's only like two three million coins or something like that i'm not asking for much hit me with one of those big nice cards just to finish us off bottom line though is i wanted to test out is 100 player picks worth it right now and of course we'll do the same thing again on Monday when the new player picks come out. And I don't even know, as we get another 88, which is great, I don't even know if the new player picks are going to be 82 pluses. Maybe we'll get 83 pluses. Maybe we'll get 82 pluses that are one of fours that are like stupidly expensive that nobody's going to like. You know, it's EA at the end of the day. They could easily just ruin our fun. Um, but when the player picks change on Monday, we'll come back, we'll do another run through of 100 player picks and see if they are worth it. At this moment in time, oof, damn. I bet I, I'm going to guess 80k. Oh my days, I'm actually bang on. I'm actually, oh, maybe it's a little bit more than 80k, but that is a hell of a card to pick up. I've got his uh, 96, so I don't really need this card, but what a card either way. Um, yeah, to, to answer the question of are these player picks worthwhile? Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I would be grinding into this as much as I could. We have got so much returned and although we actually haven't got any single high-end quality player that could go into the team i even think that maldini as good as he looks probably isn't quite good enough to get into a team we got so much fodder that i ended up completing i've already completed basically kaka i need one more squad to do for him but that is going to be the end of the video for now guys of course if you did enjoy it be sure to leave a like rate and comment subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for now guys i'm out